Kill and be happy about it. Hey, what's up, man? Welcome back. some molds, got my forge, uh, whatnot, got some clay. Made me some, uh, leather boots and iron gloves. My coal miner summit's gone, but I still have the, uh, stats for it. What have we got? All that remains. Mans of the Kuhn, Forbidden Knowledge. Oh, thank goodness you're here. I thought you went to the Hanged Man. And I always went there to look for you first, but then I thought you might have gone to see your uncle instead. And I'm around, aren't I? I don't mind. You're adorable when you're flustered. After you left, I... I couldn't stop thinking about Paul and the mirror and everything that's happened. I wonder if... I've made a mistake. Leaving the Dalish. Who could pass up life in Kirkwall? A city of sunshine and butterflies. I suppose if I hadn't left my people, I never would have met you. I'm not like you. And I wish that I were. You're beautiful and clever and you never make any mistakes. And I... I don't deserve you. Perhaps you don't. But I deserve you. Did you think of that? Did you call the Maker a dirty name then? <laughs> it's foolish of me to even dream that you might. I thought I was pretty obvious already. But I could spell it out for you. Meryl? It's all right. Oh my goodness. What happens now? Are we... What did this mean? Now we both decide what happens next. If you hadn't come to Sandermount that day, I can't imagine where I'd be now. I love you. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have said that, did I? I always say the stupidest things. Aww. Uh, I was thinking of scandalizing the neighbors by having my Dalish lover move in. What do you think? Here, in Hightown, the rich, fancy part of the city with no rats in it. And you, with an elf. I was going to try and figure out how you really are crazy, aren't you? If you're not afraid, then neither am I. Huzzah! Romance accomplished. That's Mother's room. I shouldn't intrude. No, nothing. Enchantment! No, Leandra. Leandra. 
Shouting won't make him understand you better, you know. There you are. Where's your mother? Is she feeling all right? I'm tempted to say she isn't. Just to see your reaction. <laughs> your mother didn't show up for our weekly visit. Is she ill? She is here, isn't she? No, Gamlin. We haven't seen her all day. Where could she be? With her suitor, perhaps? Suitor? Deandra never mentioned a suitor. Well, those lilies arrived for her this morning. White lilies? I know something about that. Don't just leave me waiting. What is it? There's a killer in Kirkwall who sends his victims white lilies before he takes them. He's murdered several women already. No. You're wrong. Leandra is fine. Aveline will get the city guard to keep an eye out. Don't worry, Uncle. Oh. All right. That girl will know what to do. Maybe... Maybe Leandra took another path to my house. I could have just missed her. I'm going back to Lotown. You should help Gamlin look for your mother. You might be able to track her more easily once night falls and the streets empty out. All right. The boy and I will stay here in case she returns. Alrighty. I can make it for you. Okay. Ooh, now let's just get the pretty white armor. Nighttime. Low town. I did? I told you already! I saw her! Did you see where she went? What do I get for telling you? Here's a few silver. Buy yourself some food. And new shoes. <gasps> That's real silver, that is! I'm your man, through and through! Tell you everything I know! That lady was here. She looked like she was going to take the bridge to Hightown. But then a man came up to her. He stumbled and fell over right at her feet like he was dead. His hands were all bloody, like he'd been in a fight. The lady shook him, and I think he said, help. She got him to his feet, and he was wobbly. Uh, it, it was funny. Anyway, they left, and that's all I saw. What did the man look like? He was a man. He had hair and a nose and nice clothes, but they were all stained from the blood. Ah. It's not too late. She could still be alive. 
Why would anyone take her? It doesn't make sense. The man left some blood. Where he fell over. You could follow it. Why don't you do what the boy says? I'm going to go home in case Leandra shows up. <laughs> yep. Trail of blood. This blood is fresh. There are lingering traces of... Something. I think this was used for blood magic. If we hurry, there might be a trail we can follow. There's another. More blood. I'm on the right path. Where is he taking her? There. I'm not too late. There. The boundary. They must have gone inside. The foundry again. I hate this part. It's so sad. This place feels strange. Wrong. I found Nanette's hand and the sack of human remains here three years ago. Mother must be here somewhere. We need to look around. Here somewhere. like someone forgot to conceal the door to his hideout. This wasn't here before. Mother must be down there. Alessa! A pile of bones. Perhaps it's my mother. Ooh, make us breath that smell. Mother's locket. Oh, this isn't a good sign. Mel family shield. Does he live here? <laughs>
is this? Oh, that's a pretty little shrine. The woman in the painting. She almost looks like Mother. If I ever make anything this pathetic, do me a favor and stick a dagger in my eye. I need to find her. Now. And here I thought I was twisted. Why would he have these? What's he planning? Quick. Need to go. Nothing good's gonna happen. I was wondering when you'd show up. Leandra was so sure you'd come for her. Mother always knew me best. Yes. And she spoke so fondly of you. What a lovely, gentle woman. You will never understand my purpose. Your mother was chosen because she was special. And now, she is part of something... greater. I don't want to hurt anyone. Release my mother and we'll go. She's here. She's waiting for you. I have done the impossible. I have touched the face of the Maker and lived. Do you know what the strongest force in the universe is? Love. I pieced her together from memory. I found her eyes, her skin, her delicate fingers. And at last, her face. Oh, this beautiful face. I searched far and wide to find you again, beloved. And no force on this earth will part us. Yeah. 
Father. His magic was the only thing keeping her alive. I'm so sorry. I knew you would come. Don't move, Mother. We'll find a way to... Shh. Don't fret, darling. That man would have kept me trapped in here. Now, I'm free. I get to see Bethany again. And your father. But you'll be here alone. I'll be fine, Mother. My little girl has become so strong. I love you. You've always made me so proud. That almost brings a tear to my eye. Did you find her? I'm sorry, Uncle. She's gone. You were right about the flowers and everything. I... I can't believe she's gone. I was too late. So you're to blame. If you'd been quicker or stronger, you could have... She could be... <laughs> Why her? Why Leandra? Mother's gone. Will knowing why ease the pain? No, it won't. It will always seem senseless, won't it? Where's the one who did this to her? Did you find the person who killed Leandra? Let's just say his killing days are over. It won't bring Leandra back, but I'll take comfort in knowing that. You've had a long day, so I'll go to the gallows to talk to Carver. He'll need to know about this. Take care, my dear. Arabalas, Marvinan. I'm glad you're here, Meryl. Leandra is in a better place now. She's with the Maker. Or with Fallon Dean. You never know. <sighs> I can't bring myself to change anything about Mother's room. Is that... Isabella... Who carves that into a stairwell? What? This is her. Was a fine woman. Reminded me of my own mother. If there's anything I can do. Dooby dooby doo, be dooby dooby. What is that? Hang on just a second, I'm looking at something here.
And then Hawk tore the door clean off its hinges, walked into the room, and... <clears throat> I guess we'll finish this later. Have you got a minute, Varric? For you, I have all the time in the world. Actually, I've been meaning to talk to you. There definitely seems to be something between you and Daisy these days. So, what's going on, Hawk? Well, well, well. I never thought you were the type, Varric. I'm flattered. <laughs> it's the chest hair, isn't it? Women can never resist my chest hair. Unfortunately, it's not to be. I'm spoken for. Uh, Bianca stands in my way again, does she? What can I say? She's the jealous type. Listen, as your friend, I feel like I'd be doing you a disservice if I didn't say something. Meryl is a sweet girl, but there's a whole lot of crazy in that little package. <laughs> in all the time you've known me, have I ever given you the impression that I was turned off by crazy? <laughs> okay, point taken. <laughs> You've been nursed in that empty mug for hours. Get another drink or get out. Fantastic. Talk to Aveline real quick and then we'll go continue our quest line. Hawk, I don't care what else is going on. We haven't spoken about Leandra. How are you? I have a smile on my face. That should be enough for most people. That doesn't work on me. I knew her too. I want to think my mother was like her. I just have flashes of possibly long hair. But my father... Would you like to hear one thing? What is it about death that brings out the speeches? Maybe people think it's something they can share. That's the human response anyway. I'm not sure what you're doing. Don't lose your friends too, Hawk. Okay. Random and unhelpful. It is apparently not enough that the Cunari define my political life. They must also infect what I hold personal. It is my son, Seamus. The life you saved he would now squander by converting to the Kun. He has left for the Kunari compound. Please, Sarah Hawk, convince Seamus to come home. He is of age. The decision seems rightly his. I want to let him find his way, but in my position, he's taken a great deal of inspiration from you. I idealism, but not blindly. At best, my opponents will claim that my office is now in Canary hands. At worst, I lose my son. You know this will only end in trouble. Fitting. That's where it started. My son is not foolish. He will listen to reason. And you are in the best position to offer that opportunity. Please, do what you can. Oh dear. Very bad things are going to happen. The days are off. Mercenaries have blocked the street. Oh no!
Whoa! Fancy new robes. Wanna place bets on who sent them? Anti Kunari group, anti Pi Count, or Seamus himself? Seamus isn't the type. Let's go. Good either. All are forbidden. So, hope the Arashok wasn't planning on keeping the Viscount's son. The Enigma of Kirkwall. Hey, look at that. Alright, let's do this thing. Sarah Hawk. I'm here about the Viscount's son. Are you? In four years, I have made no threat, and fanatics have lined up to hate us simply because we exist. But despite lies and fear, Bars still beg me to let them come to the Kuhn. They hunger for purpose. The son has made a choice. You will not deny him that. No doubt you see the advantage of having the Viscount's son at arm's reach. He is no longer the Viscount's son. Vidithari give up their lives for the certainty only Kunari know. You would not take advantage of his connections? The Kuhn may demand that advantage, but I do not. It was his choice to be educated. He is not my prisoner. He is not even here. He went to his father. Ask the Viscount why he would send you and the letter both. That seems strange. They are meeting at the Chantry. A last pointless appeal, I assume. I doubt he'd involve the Chantry in such a personal matter. No, but we know who would. Mother Patrice. A suspect in many things. If she has threatened someone under my command again, there is only one response. Don't make things worse by marching your men through the streets without cause. This is cause. This is the last insult I will suffer, Hawk. I will be watching. The Dathari are of the Kuhn. This offense will have an answer. Yeek.
Sarah Hawk. Look at what you have done. To pounce upon the Viscount's son, a repentant convert in the Chantry itself. A crime with no excuse. Your Kunari masters will finally answer. Are you mad? Your plans have fallen to outright murder? The faithful know this has been building for a long time. Where Vonnell incited, I reminded, in sermon and prayer. When people learn of this attack, they will rise. Not zealots or the unknowing, but the true majority. Great plan. Until people start dying in a war with the Kunari. To die untested would be the real crime. People need the opportunity to defend faith, starting with you. Earn your reward in this life and next. These heretics must die! Do you see, Your Grace? Traitors attacking the very core of the Chantry. They defile with every step. There is death in every corner, young mother. It is as you predicted, all too well. Forgive me, Your Grace, but you must know the truth about what happened here. Don't you spout your Kunari filth! This is a hand of the Divine! I have ears, Mother Patrice. The Maker would have me use them. Viscount Dumas' son is dead. Killed here in your name. I'm sure my name won't like that. Patrice? Seamus Dumas was a Kunari convert. He came here to repent and was murdered. You killed him so no one would follow his free choice. Right or wrong. It could not be allowed. How many would be tempted? As many as would want to go, I suppose. They deny the Maker. And you diminish him, even as you claim his side. Andraste did not volunteer for the flame. Sarah Hawk, you stand with the Captain of the Guard? The young mother has erred in her judgment. A court will decide her fate. The Chantry respects the law, and so must she. Grand Cleric? Grand Cleric? <laughs> no. Jen's coming over. We're going to have hamburgers. We protect those of the Kune. We do not abandon our own. Please, send for Viscount Dumas. My son. Murdered in the heart of the Chantry by those who held a sacred trust. What hope for this city when we fail our own so completely? This is not over, Excellency. The city needs a leader. It does. And I am no longer that person.
Please. Hawk! Leave me! This won't exactly ease tensions. The Viscount's son and Canari aggression, even if justified, it won't end. Well, I thought this could wait, but I need to speak to you at your home very soon. Is important. Don't interrupt with your selfish prattle. Get off your high horse. I have problems too. <laughs> what drink should I order and who's the father? Oh, you little. Are there any good seats left? <laughs> Hawk, the Arashok is sheltering two fugitives who have converted to the Cune. He must be convinced to release them. He's already feared because of Patrice. If people start to think he can ignore the law, I need your help so this doesn't get out of hand. I'm going to die. There. Got your attention. Real problem. But hold on. What's this about? Remember the relic? The one Castillon is going to kill me over? A man called Wall-Eyed Sam has it. If you help me get it, Castillon won't kill me. Please. I'm trying to keep the entire city from rioting against the Canari. Well, maybe it's connected. What? I'm just saying maybe it will help. It's important to someone, right? Now you start being responsible? Shit. You're sure this is the relic you're after? I've had my ear to the ground for a while. There was a description of the book. It's the right one. Book? I thought you didn't know what the relic was. Well, I... I, I know it's a book, but that's all I know. It's written in a foreign tongue. Honestly, what does it matter? It'll save me from Castillon, so I need it. This seems like an issue for you and your guards. <laughs> Quite a few of them. Sending a full patrol would just increase tension. But you're right. I am the captain. It's my responsibility. But I suspect the Viscount was hoping I would bring this to you. Then he should have come himself. Perhaps. But it's understandable that he's not at his best. I'd like to help him if I can. Why has this come up so suddenly, Isabella? Sam's been talking to black market dealers all over Lowtown. It didn't take me long to get wind of it. What frustrates me is that he's held onto the relic so long. Who is involved in this exchange? Tivinta mages. I doubt they'll look kindly on us interrupting. Bring a sword. Or twelve. Tell me about Sam. Sam used to run with Martin. Remember him? Martin says Sam's a bit of a magpie, picking up things that don't belong to him. Not a trustworthy sort. When Martin gave up raiding, Sam became a drifter. The relic issue has to be resolved before we take on the Kunari. You trust her this much? Probably not. I wouldn't. They won't wait at the compound forever, Hawk. I really do hope this helps, because if it doesn't... You think I like having this thing on my mind? Come on. The exchange is happening tonight in a low-town foundry. Are you sure about this? The champion was asked to go to the Canari. I suppose you think she planned the entire thing. Considering what it led to. Come on, Seeker. I'm not going to sell Hawk short. But nobody could have foreseen the way that that would go down. Or do you still think I'm lying to protect my friend? There are elements of your story that make sense. 
And you couldn't have known about them otherwise. Well, that's a relief. But that doesn't mean you're telling me everything. I want this story to be told. You're not the first to get it all wrong. I think I owe Hawk that much. Okay. There's always pretenders out at night. Sometimes you have to correct them. Good coin in it, too. Great. That means I'm gonna get attacked all the way down. Gentiva Brandy. Ooh. The Hanged Man. Sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Oh. Smells like Surrender, smoke. Brother. Burning meth. I don't have your stupid relic. Sten. If the air shark asks why we killed his men, we'll say it was an accident. Uh, yes. About that. The relic belongs to the Kunari, and there's a small chance they want it back. Do the Kunari look like the sharing type to you? Of course they want it back. I've always known what the relic is. I just didn't want to worry you. You're the picture of kindness, Raveni. The relic is a Kunari text handwritten by that philosopher of theirs. Uh, Keslan, Kuzlan, whatever his name is. I stole it from them. They followed me here to reclaim it, and it's why they're still in Kerr. They can't leave the free marches without it. I thought you and the Kunari were caught in a storm. The storm was only half of it. I also had the Kunari dreadnought stuck to my behind like a bad rash, spitting fire and thunder at me. Maybe giving it back would solve Aveline's problem. That mess is over a couple of elves. I need it to save my own skin. Why would anyone besides the Kunari want this relic? The Tevinta Imperium have been at war with the Kunari for centuries. If the Tevintas get the relic, it will strike a blow to Kunari morale. That's probably what the mages want. I bet you're gonna run away as soon as you get it too, aren't ya? Sounds like the Kunari take their reading very seriously. Is there anything the Kunari don't take seriously? Good point. I'm sure there's something. Maybe knock-knock joke? <laughs> You just keep working on that, Daisy. Let us know if you figure it out. <laughs> Look, the book's right in this building, and I'm not letting it slip away again. It's the only thing that'll get Castillon off my back. Please, tell me you'll give the relic to me. It's yours. Your life depends on it. Really? I... I wasn't expecting that. It's nice to have someone on my side for once. Come on, we've no time to waste. Waiting on you. Where is the relic? I, uh, I have it. The Tome of Coastland will not fall into Deventer hands. Blood and spite. A Tons Canary! 
He's getting away. Isabella! Something. Where you step. is full of ridiculous saw blade traps. Lambswell insults. Everyone stay still and try not to make any loud noises. What? Is there a trap somewhere? Sam. I have the relic and I am gone. Sorry it has to be this way. You've been a loyal ally, but this is the best for us both. You promised me the relic and I know you'll fight Castillon for me, but I don't want this. I've dragged you in too far. You don't have to forgive me, but I hope you understand. She'd come back, wouldn't she? She won't just leave us. Um. Abilene will be waiting at the Canari compound. We still have to deal with that mess. Mm. 
Well, ain't you moving up in the world? People talk, you know. I hear you got a right fancy nest in Hightown now. Nice step up for a dog lord. Only fair you share some of that good fortune with those of us still hurting, no? I was a refugee when I came here. If I could turn my luck around, so can you. I hear you fought through half the Darkspawn Horde to come back with them treasures. I don't got that in me. Not anymore. All I've got is the thirst and the dust. Okay. So Don't forget, as soon as you're... I'd wrap up any other business before we go. It's already a mess. It could get worse. I still have things I need to do. Don't forget, as soon as you're finished wrapping up your business, we'll need to go to the Canary compound together. Don't forget, as soon as you're finished wrapping up... I'd wrap up any other business before we go. It's already a mess. It could get worse. Let's go. I request an audience with the Arish shop. He will allow it, but not in this number. I will only bring my friend here and a small compliment of my guard. Is that few enough? It is. Enter. Eek! Shinada. Greetings, Arashok. We come fugitives that took refuge here. Irrelevant. I would speak to Hark about the relic stolen from my grasp. Your relic could be anywhere. A truth, but you minimize your role. An issue for another time. We're here for the fugitives. The elves are now Fidithari. They have chosen to submit to the Kuhn. They will be protected. Surely you know these elves are only here to escape justice. Kirkwall justice. You have not hidden the abuses of your zealots or the corruption of this city. You will understand why I must do this. <laughs> Let us look at your yes, they dangerous did. criminals. Two of them. Speak Scared the, the crap out of me. Who did you murder and why? A city guard forced himself on our sister. We reported him, or tried to, but they did nothing about it, no matter what he said. So my brothers and I paid him a visit. That doesn't excuse murder. Are these elves telling the truth? There have been rumors. I will investigate, but they still took the law into their own hands. Sometimes that is necessary. Like you avenged the Viscount's son. It was not right then, and it's not right now. We're just here for the elves. Their actions are mere symptoms. Your society is the disease. They have chosen. The Vidithari will submit to the Kuhn and find a path your way has denied them. You can't just decide that. You must hand them over. Tell me, Hawk. What would you do in my place? They would make poor Kunari without the horns. <laughs> I see. I cannot leave without the relic, and I cannot stay and remain blind to this dysfunction. There is only one solution. Arashok, there is no need for. Venekathas. Not here. Duo, go, go.
All right, as soon as I get to a save point, I've got to go. My company is here, and I have got to go be sociable. Can you hear it? The Canari must be spreading out. They're attacking the city. Why? What could they possibly hope to accomplish? <laughs> Somehow, I don't think the Arashog cares what happens after this. You may be right. Whatever it is, we need to do something quickly. But we'll need some help. Oh, there you are. I was so worried about you. Are we under attack? The Canari are assaulting the city, and fast. The Arashok planned this for who knows how long. We should head to the keep to rally my guardsmen. Whatever happens, be careful. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and head out. I'll be back later tonight. I'll see you later, Spacey.